Hello everyone. I am Anand Srivastava, professor at Triple Delhi. Welcome to the course titled Optical Wireless Communication for Beyond 5G Networks and IoT. Let us briefly understand why this course is relevant for beyond 5G and IoT applications. Fast evolving user practices of newer information creation, sensing, sharing and consumption in our community, business and industry have stimulated a huge surge in data traffic with heterogeneous quality of user requirements. To cater to these changes, next generation communication networks need to be endowed with capability of providing high data rate, stringent latency and ubiquitous services. Optical wireless communication systems are being actively developed to derive the combined benefits from advanced optical and wireless technologies with the inherent advantages such as ultra high bandwidth, long communication distance and strong data privacy, optical wireless systems will become an essential building block of the future communication network infrastructure. Optical wireless communication will play an important role in network operations for beyond 5G, Internet of Things, wireless local area networks, augmented reality, virtual reality and beyond. The field of optical wireless communication and network systems has evolved beyond classical communication and network applications and the technologies involve deeper science principles. On one hand, besides renewed interest from electrical communication engineering, computer engineering and AI communities, Many of the technology, technological advances draw learnings from the newer findings in applied sciences such as engineering physics and optoelectronics. The course is designed to explore the applications of optical wireless communication in emerging network and services. This course will cover how optical wireless communication technologies such as visible light communication light fidelity, which is also known as Li-Fi, and free space optical communication is going to be an effective solution for successful deployment of beyond 5G and IoT systems. The course is useful for final year undergraduate and master level students of electronics and communication engineering. This course is also appropriate for students who want to do research in optical wireless communication area. The prerequisite for this course is basic knowledge of digital communication systems. Now briefly we will now understand the contents of this course. So the topics which will be covered are introduction. Uh, under this head I will discuss about different wireless access schemes the comparison of optical wireless with radio and potential optical wireless application areas. And then we will move on to optical sources. Uh, under optical sources, we will discuss about light emitting diodes and lasers. And for these devices, we will study internal and external quantum efficiency of these devices, power and luminous uh, efficiency and modulation bandwidth of these devices. And then we move on to the detectors. We'll uh, study different types of detectors. What are their photo detection techniques? And what, what is uh, the noise which is generated in photo detection process? Then we will move on to indoor optical wireless communication channel modeling. Uh, so under this head, we will study about line of sight propagation model, non-line of sight propagation model, interference from other light sources. Further, we will move to outdoor optical wireless communication channel modeling. Under this head, we will study about the atmospheric channel loss, the divergence, the beam divergence, and the pointing loss uh, happening in the link. And then we will study about different uh, turbulence models. 
and also we will include underwater optical wireless communication channel modeling which will involve absorption of light inside the water, scattering, turbulence, multipath interference and uh, what happens if the light is physically obstructed and uh, how does background noise is going to affect the performance of the system. Further, we move on to the modulation schemes. So, there are some specific modulation schemes which are used for optical wireless communication systems. So, we will study different types of modulation schemes. One is digital baseband modulation scheme, which will include pulse amplitude modulation, pulse interval modulation, and pulse position modulation. And also, we will cover multi carrier modulation, and under this, we are going to cover OFDM, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. And also, a new scheme which is valid for optical wireless communication system is color shift keying. So, we will discuss about color shift keying as well, and also few uh, lectures on non orthogonal multiple access that is NOMA. And then we will do system performance analysis both for indoor optical wireless links and outdoor wireless optical links. Uh, in the indoor optical wireless links, we will study how the light so uh, effect of ambient light sources on the indoor per uh, link performance and we will take into account the multipath propagation and other impairments. And for outdoor, we are going to study about uh, free space optics link interface uh, link performance under the effect of turbulence and what kind of penalty which is induced because of the turbulence and what are the ways of mitigating these uh, turbulent impairments. And uh, also we will conclude our this lecture series with some use cases which are there in OWC as which you will find applications in beyond 5G and IoT and also we will do some simulation exercises. Uh, so, some of the simulation exercises are listed here. We will try to simulate an indoor optical wireless link. We will also try to simulate some modulation techniques, for example, optical OFDM and CSK modulation schemes. And also, we will try to simulate Wi Fi, Li Fi coexistence, how both Wi Fi and Li Fi can coexist inside the room. And then, also, one example where we will show vehicle to vehicle communication. Uh, the performance in a vehicle to vehicle communication using their headlamps and some receiver circuitry at the uh, on the other side. So, the objectives of the course is the students will be exposed to different types of light sources, uh, their structures and optical characteristics and also the optical detection techniques and uh, the statistics of the optical detection process. The second objective is that students will learn about the channel impulse response for indoor, outdoor and underwater so that they are able to design an optical wireless systems for these applications. The third objective is the students will be exposed to different modulation schemes which are suitable for optical wireless communication systems and we will study these schemes uh, in terms of the power efficiency and the bandwidth efficiency. Uh, of these modulation schemes. And finally, the students will be exposed to different use cases and also they will get experience how to simulate different systems used in optical wireless communication areas. Uh, for example, indoor communication as I had mentioned earlier, outdoor communication, some modulation techniques and then vehicle to vehicle communication so on and so forth. So, some of the books which I will refer are shown here. So, Optical Communication Essentials by Gerd Kieser. This is Megra Hill Networking publication. So, this is basic mainly for the devices, the LEDs and the lasers and photodiodes. The other book is Visible Light Communication Systems. This is uh, Theory and Applications from CRC Press. So, this deals in detail about indoor optical wireless communication. The other book is uh, Optical Wireless Communication System Channel Modeling with MATLAB. So, this particular book again from CRC has lot of examples where simulation exercises have been done and also one of the good, uh, good book for uh, free space optics is free space laser communication. This is from Springer. Uh, so, this uh, book is mainly I will be referring for free space optics and other than this. 
uh, there will be some relevant papers. The link to those relevant papers I will be giving yes. whenever I discuss those areas. And uh, so this is in brief about the course structure uh, of this particular course. And, uh, and I am looking forward uh, all of you to join this course and get benefited from this course. Thank you. Mm -hmm.